we are live from the Spira Clinic for a day we've all been working so hard towards, but none harder than you, Priya. Thank you. Priya, you had CRPS for between 19 and 20 years. Yeah. yeah. So when you were 11, mm -hmm. life as you knew it just went up in flames. It did. And mm -hmm. you came here uh, with gastroparesis also yeah. in a wheelchair. Yep. Yeah. How long were you in a wheelchair for? So that was just half a year, but um, I had been off my feet for a long time. And you were bedridden or couch ridden yeah, for a very long time, um, off and on, just a steady decline, um, like 80% of the time I was off my feet. So um, I want to get your therapists up here, and then David. I really can't have one without the other. No. Your husband has been your shadow all along. Yes, he has. He's been my rock. <laughs> and so is Katie. She's been my rock too. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the beginning, I didn't even really talk to her yet. You know, you're talking to is actually talking to David, and that's how he communicated. And now we're at this point where he's in the corner burning down towers or whatever he's doing <laughs> on his phone, and we're just over here doing our own thing. I mean, I still see confusion on your face all the time when you turn around and she's not standing there, yep. or sitting there. You're like, oh, where'd she go? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Running off. Yeah. yeah. So it's really cool progress to see with that. Yeah. Yeah. Barely yeah. turn my neck, barely open my eyes. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give the floor to you, but I just want to say for anyone watching this, and you're one of those landmark cases where we say to ourselves when we struggle with the case, if Bria can do it, if we can do it with Bria's case, then any case can get there. We can get there. So I'm so incredibly proud of the spirit you brought in here and the fighter that you've been because we, we can only take you so far, but we can do your push-ups for you. And you showed up in every single way. So Thank you. Thank you so much. Whatever you want to say. Yeah, I kind of have a lot to say, so I apologize, but I have a lot of years to catch up. I'm not saying a lot. Um, I just want to say to everyone in this clinic, words just aren't, don't cut it. Um, I wrote thank you cards because I knew there was so much I wanted to say to so many of you, but um, Dr. Katinka, words will never be powerful enough to articulate what you have done for me. God led me to you, knowing full well you were the only person on this earth that could help me. Thank you for dedicating your life to this monster of a disease um, and for giving CRPS warriors the care and attention they deserve that they, they don't get anywhere else but here. Um, to all my supporters who donated and prayed for me, like I would not be here without you guys. You guys are the reason that I'm here. Family and friends, thank you so much. To all three of my caregivers, mom, dad, David, this is the day we've prayed for for so many years. Um, thank you for supporting me and believing in me from day one. Thank you for fighting this battle with me and for all your tremendous sacrifices that you guys made. Um, before Spiro, I was just barely surviving. I have been a shell of a person. On the worst days, wishing that death would come sooner. On the best days, being stronger than a person should have to be. <clears throat> Um, you guys have not only given me freedom, you've saved my life. I now have so many years of life to look forward to. There's one more thing I want to acknowledge here. Another really important part of my journey. Not only did you guys send my CRPS into remission, you also have helped me in my ongoing battle of complex PTSD. Before I got C CRPS, I had battled and survived nine years of continuous sexual abuse. I never thought that I would have the chance to address and heal some of those injuries here, both physically and emotionally, but you guys so lovingly did. Thank you for looking at the whole body and recognizing that trauma has an impact on the body's ability to heal. I never thought I would get to experience this amount of freedom and of peace, and I know it's only the beginning of my journey. It's such a wonderful and terrifying thing leaving here. Living with CRPS is all I have known. I'm just now learning who I am without it. It will forever shape me, but I will not let CRPS steal anything else from me. 
I'm choosing right now to believe in a future that is safe, full of life, health, and freedom. Thank you.